What's going on guys and welcome back to another Forza Thun Weekly Challenge. Now if you're new to the series then I'll be showing you a basic run through the challenges that make you 100 Forza points. You can also double your rewards if you own this location on the map which is located on the top left. Before we get into this challenge let's take a look at the seasonal items and the Forza Thun shop for this week. For our first challenge, you own and drive the 2013 Ford Shelby GT500. You can easily find it inside the auto show or the auction house, but either way I should mention that you need to use this vehicle through all four challenges. After you have the car, you need to exit the garage with the vehicle. If it doesn't trigger right away, then go drive around the block for a few seconds. Now the second challenge you win three drag race events. Just head over to one of the drag strips in the game and knock them out one at a time. I chose the obvious location because it's the smallest place on the map. In the third challenge you earn a total of 1 million skill score. As for some people this can take a while due to your skill level and there's also people that want to attempt it in one go like myself. The GT500 has one good perk in the listing that I would activate inside the car mastery area. As to get the skill multiplier to go faster, if you're short on time then I would try to activate the skill song while the radio is blasting music. If you don't have this unlocked then you need to own the Huntsman Lodge location in the forest area. Personally it's very random on when the skill song is activated and I usually attempt it without this perk even on. Either way, to boost up your skill score, you need to drift around and smack a few objects along the way. The easiest location will be at the airport since it has huge fields and there's a low risk of losing your points without smacking any hard objects. Then for a final challenge, you need to win a road racing event at the Lakehurst Forest Sprint. You can run the normal event that Playground has created, but a short point to point race with the track editor will knock this out in seconds. I do have one shared over there, so if you know the gamer tag, then go find it. Well, that pretty much wraps up everything that you need to know in this week in Horizon 4. From here, I hope you found this pretty useful, and I'll see you next time.